welcome back to another video so i received an email today when i logged on to gta and it was telling me use this photograph and email to identify the location of the treasure so i was like what i thought it was gonna be like i don't know like money or something so um how about you guys come with me and then we found out exactly what it was huh? uh, 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 uh. but i just want to say i search everywhere and hello we have found it so it was it was just a piece of paper just just a note i was searching absolutely everywhere for this and it reads treasure tore our family apart it ain't here no more i moved it you beep beep ain't never gonna find it so guys yeah that's basically what the note read and that note was basically the first steps into our treasure hunt so follow me and then we'll get every step done together so the first stop on our journey boys and girls will be taking us over here on this part of the map that will be the first location i think the locations are scattered differently but this is ours so yeah So in the first um, tr um, treasure location, it was just an empty box. It looks like a revolver emptied out completely. So that was the first one. The second stop in our journey would see us heading over to Grapeseed. So the second um, clue in this treasure hunt seems to be a bloody shovel guys and it looks like someone absolutely hammered someone over the back of the head with it and tried to bury them after. Just an absolute mess to be honest but that's the second one yeah. The next location boys and girls would see us heading over to Tongva Hills so let's get on over there. So the third and final clue in this treasure hunt seems to be someone who got their head back absolutely blown out. I don't know what kind of revolver that was, but it absolutely destroyed that guy's head back. So now, once we have completed all three clues, what popped up on my map was, well, the treasure chest itself. So we are going to head on over there, boys and girls, and we are going to see what they made us do all of these things for. And so I'll catch you guys in two seconds. Approaching the final um, place boys and girls where the treasure chest is actually located as you can see there's two dead bodies just laying here yeah it just looks like I don't know to me it just looks like they just killed each other and we're just left with this weapon but what I'm wondering is why is it just perfectly in this chest and the, there was a shovel right next to it so it looks like someone was trying to bury it I don't, I don't know it's just, it's, a, it's just a mystery in a mystery but uh, here it is guys, the double action revolver. 
I must say I do like the way it looks like I even took it for a little shoot around so you'll be able to see like, the differences between the first revolver this is the very first revolver and then I went ahead and I switched switched it to the double action and as you guys will be able to see the double action shoots quicker because well yeah it's a double action revolver so it shoots quicker and also if you get like 50 headshots with this weapon um it said apparently you get a, a special variant of the weapon and also a, a revolver to use within red dead redemption 2 when that actually releases so it's pretty cool i think the gun looks awesome it looks pretty awesome boys and girls so yep at least you know what you're looking for within the treasure hunt now and yep get treasure hunting man get the revolver get those 50 headshots and unlock that special variant so i'll be seeing you guys on the next video though Peace.